choosing on the gut. They choosing on the gut. Girls everywhere on the left and the right. Is it cause I'm glossed up? Is it cause I'm flossed up? Maybe cause I'm flexing on these niggas and I'm bossed up. Messing with the bread so you know you gon' get tossed up. If I want. Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me while I discuss a few topics and do my makeup. The video is already a chit chat, so there is no extra need for me to chat too much in this intro. If you all like this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. That way I will know that you all want more chit chats from me. So I've pretty much went ahead and styled my hair. So if you are interested in the way that my hair looks, I do have a separate video on how I did that. I did go ahead and make a list this time because I did film this video before. Actually, I filmed it that same day when I did the 100K giveaway. imported the footage and I really didn't like that video. I didn't really like the vibe in the video and I didn't have a list that first time. It's an old random sheet of paper with a few bullet points on it. I already struggle to talk and do my makeup. Like it's different with hair because I'm used to doing that but I just didn't really like it. I was like in a chit chat get ready with me either the makeup needs to turn out good or the conversation needs to be good but honestly if it's a chit chat it's more so assumed that the conversation is going to be good and we're just kind of watching you do the makeup you know so i have my list this time i'm going to stick to my topics that i did write down hopefully now that since i trashed that one i still find it appropriate to go ahead and discuss the new year since i haven't really in uh any videos yet plus it's still january if this is your first video watching i want to say happy new year to you and i hope that your new year is starting off very well i hope that you accomplish everything that you would like to accomplish this year as far as the way that i ended up bringing in the new year that i went out and bought a dress and things like that and i had this assumption that i was going to go ahead and go out for the new year now this is something that i've never really done before um, i usually either bring the new year in at church or just at home wow like i bought a dress and everything but i said what are you doing this and they're like you don't go out for the new year so i did end up staying home with my family well my parents they ended up going to church and things like that but i stayed home had some pizza and i just watched like the new year's the um shows throughout the new year in that way i did end up buying that dress and so now i'm just feeling like wherever i go next i am gonna wear that dress like i do not care but someone is gonna probably say oh that girl's wearing her new year dress again because it's like gold and sparkly i know for a fact that i didn't wear that dress yet besides just trying it on in the dressing room so wherever i go next i'm gonna have on a gold and sparkly dress i do not care and i'm not going to keep it in my closet all the way until the new year again we're going to get some wear out of that dress i completely forgot to go ahead and apply my face primer also i will have whoa that's a lot right there I want that. also i have all of the products in the description box down below since i do realize i'm going to do more so chatting than attempting to mention every single product that i use i'll do my best to put the products that i use in order for you all as well Normally I would have already sprayed my primer spray while I was doing my brow so that it would have time to set. Let me get on my eyes. I did get the Urban Decay Smoky for Christmas. My brother got this for me. I've been trying to play around with it. This is probably going to be my third time using it. This is my first like high-end eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love it. I've been watching videos on YouTube trying to see like different ways other people use theirs because I do want to use it. Maybe in an upcoming Valentine's Day video. Let me know if you all would be more so interested in makeup for me for Valentine's Day or hair tutorials or both. Just let me know because I definitely want to give you all more of what you want this year. And speaking of this year, the next thing that I do have on my list to talk about is goals. So as far as my channel goes, um, as far as my channel goes... As far as my channel goes, <laughs> now I got to put the word on the screen so y'all get what I meant. As far as my channel this year, I definitely want to bring to you all better quality videos, better and more thorough content, and just more uploads overall. I did have some months where I was more frequent than other months. It just varies as, you know, what my life consists of at that time and what I kind of have time for and what I'm inspired to really film and upload for you all. 
this is going to be the part I'm going to jack up trying to talk and do eyeshadow. <laughs> so as far as my account goes on YouTube, my subscriber number. I don't really like to say an exact number because, I mean, I get that we never really know where our numbers are going to go here on YouTube. But at the same time, I don't really see anything wrong with just making like some kind of prediction. I'm just going to just take a wild assumption and just guess and hope that maybe we reach 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We are currently at 112,000, which is awesome. And not to say that I'm not hoping for more if we get more or that I would be not satisfied if it's less than that. Just setting a goal. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing with my eyes. When I do my makeup, I don't really ever have anything in mind. You just kind of sit down and do it. Only difference is the camera is running this time. Plus this palette is new. I'm just playing around in different things. I definitely want to get better with doing my makeup. I don't really film it that much because I tend to just do the same makeup routine all the time. It may not be the best, but filming it, it gives me a chance to, when I play it back, I get to see how my hand moves and how I'm doing things and how I could have possibly done something different, you know, just by playing that footage back to myself. Might even learn to do a cut crease this year. <laughs> I feel like when I play my makeup tutorials back, they always look different from how they look in real life. But I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Or maybe not already ahead. I don't know <laughs> what we're doing to the eyes. Every time I do my eyeshadow, that's the only time I remember that I want to get more eyeshadow brushes may sit down today and go ahead and order some oh yeah that's a good idea come in and let me know some good eyeshadow brushes that i should try and i can go ahead and order me some when i read through you all's comments i'm going to mix my foundations it works better for me y'all want to know something fun fact i have never gone into sephora or just any makeup store period and been matched to foundation like ever I always just kind of eyeball it and hope that I'm getting my shape. I know I got this particular one at Walgreens, but I've never been matched. I need to put that on my list to do for the year to actually go in. That way I won't have, well maybe I'll still end up mixing shades, but that'll just be something better for me because I know it'll be closer to my skin tone than what I can actually attempt to match up on my own. Sloppily just applying this. Moving right along to my little sister Boone. Some of you may already know this. She did create her own YouTube channel which is super exciting. You all in the comment section have always liked her here on my channel. Um, some of you all were saying, hey, you should get your own channel. She actually finally did go ahead and get, or you know what, let's put that on hold because I need to tell you about this foundation brush that I'm going to be using. This is by Black Up. I just wanted to mention this because it is new that I'm going to be using. Normally I use a beauty blender, but I've been using this recently. This product was sent to me free with Octali from black up it helps my foundation to go on much more full coverage than what i'm used to it applying when i have used just the beauty blender in the past and it's much more easier to work with kind of start off just by using this and then after that i just go ahead and i proceed to blend it out further with my beauty blender i forgot to show you all what the bristles look like i have to do like a little insert well yeah so boom did go ahead and get her own youtube channel i will leave her video link down below she has so far uploaded two videos so if you are subscribed to her then definitely make sure or if you are subscribed to her then you have already seen both of those videos but if you missed them and this is your first time hearing about it i'll leave her channel link down below for you all to check out i really like the way that she's so far starting off with her channel i really like her editing too I guess with me being her sister some of you all may feel that i kind of assisted her with her editing or i've already seen her editing before her videos and things like that go live but honestly i haven't like she wants me to be just as surprised as the next person when i watch the video so i have to just subscribe and turn on my notifications and just wait to see her videos when they go public on her channel but like, her editing is bomb i was just like <laughs> her channel name is d side i'll leave her channel link down below check out her channel if you're interested her first video was actually a i probably shouldn't tell you i should like make you all go ahead and watch it but her first video was actually a makeup tutorial which i was like super excited about because it's, it's different when i kind of ask her for tips and things like that as far as doing makeup compared to actually having a full video to watch like i was just like yeah <laughs> so now i get to get extra tips from her as far as making my makeup look better and then her second video she's actually doing like a three-part series three-part 
series. <laughs> I can't even put the words on the screen because my editing program is not that exclusive like the one she's using, but that's neither here or there. I am super excited about this series because she wears wigs as well, but we kind of have a different way of doing things. I just be staring at her edges sometimes because it just be like so late. I actually used her first video, not her first video, her second video, Watch My Wig, which I was going to do a video all about that in the hair tutorial that I uploaded about this hair but I said nah if I used her technique for washing my hair then I could just link that down below for you all to check that out instead. When she was deciding on if she wanted to get a channel or not when she had finally decided I was like oh snaps can I post this on the internet now but she wanted us to kind of keep it like on the hush hush until her first video went out. And so I was like, ah, okay. But when she finally uploaded that first video, I was on my Instagram like, y'all. <laughs> I was like super excited. If y'all have seen the video, then you all probably saw where I commented. And I was like, first. That's not because she sends me the link or anything. Like I said, I'm just subscribed just as everyone else is. I don't get no kind of insight. Like she's literally like, nope. Gotta wait until it go live. So next thing that's on my list to talk about I'm loving having this list by the way it makes it so much easier to stay on topic I get a lot of questions about my hair what am I doing with my hair because at first I was doing more so hair tutorials with my own hair and not so many wig videos well I won't say so many but hair tutorials on my own hair as compared to the more recent wig tutorials that I have been doing here on my channel recently and that's just mainly because I've been really just wearing wigs as a protective style. I was showing you all my hair so much and doing so many videos on my own hair and I just felt that in order for it to just really thrive and kind of do its own thing, I guess I should just kind of leave it alone, you know? So that's just what I've been doing. Just kind of been shampooing my hair and just braiding it back up. I mean I style it sometimes in between. For the most part I've just felt no need for a relaxer if I know that all I'm going to do is shampoo my hair and condition it and braid it back up and put a wig on. You know what I'm saying? Like if that makes any sense. I don't know but I definitely do have a hair update like on my own hair coming very soon for you all so just definitely stay tuned for that. I like to say stay tuned versus I'm going to straighten my hair on Friday because I feel that if I don't do it on Friday then I didn't give you all too specific of a time frame, but I am going to take a break from wearing, not a large break, but from wearing this wig just for a little while to straighten out my own hair, give you all an update for everyone that has been interested in my hair and everything like that. But as of now, I am just wearing wigs as protective styles since I kind of kept my hair in you all's face so much after my apple cider vinegar rinse mishap. <laughs> if you all remember that then my hair kind of fell out because of me doing like this thing with apple cider vinegar as a way to get rid of my dandruff and everything it was a disaster a lot of my hair came out I think a lot of people expected my hair to kind of bounce back overnight and be like down my back in the next hair video whatever that was going to be that I uploaded but honestly hair only grows half an inch a month for me to upload a hair tutorial maybe October and then another hair tutorial in November, I think the YouTube sense of time is different from real life to say, well, you know, uh, it's only been a month since she uploaded her last hair tutorial, so that's the only amount of growth that you can kind of expect, you know. It wasn't going to be super down my back like tomorrow in my next hair tutorial. I feel that my hair had to get to a more healthy state before it could get to a more what's the word i'm looking for mm. i feel that my hair had to get first to a state of just being healthy before you could actually see more growth coming back in because it's easy for me to tell you all about the growth that i was seeing in my hair and that is you know thriving and it's starting to look better and all of those things compared to what's being portrayed on the camera it's kind of like a person that works out you're going to see the results yourself within maybe four weeks before other people can see the results that you claim that you're seeing you know like looking in the mirror and you raise your shirt up or something it's like oh I see my abs coming in at the very top versus still having your shirt on other people don't see you without your shirt on so they don't know what you're talking about because they just don't see that just yet unfortunately the camera did just cut off on me just now so I tried to play the clip back and catch my last point that I made but I just couldn't figure it out. I will be doing a hair update very soon for you all. As of right now, I've just been shampooing my hair, conditioning, conditioning my hair, 
and just putting my wigs back on and so I felt no need to get a relaxer since I just currently haven't been wearing my hair out and I hope that helps you all with your question. Well, I don't know why I'm doing this as if I'm not going to be talking and it's still going to not sit properly. <laughs> I actually did straighten my hair once sometime in October. I don't remember when. I straightened my hair pretty much in October. But I just really did not like that footage. I just want better uploads. I want better quality. I want better content. I didn't like the energy in that video. And so I just ended up trashing it. I do wear my hair out. Even if it's like a video that I don't film while my hair is out. Say for instance if I'm wearing a bun or something. If I feel that I already have a bun tutorial up on my channel. I may just not record that again. But if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Then you do see most times what my hair is looking like. Moving right along to the next conversation as far as updating you all just on a few things most questions that i have been getting is as far as my hair and uh, what i'm doing as far as my life after graduation if you all have been keeping up with my channel and you've been um following me for a while then you may know that i did graduate from the university of memphis I did get a biology degree, which is pretty much just a Bachelor of Science in Biology. And I will link that video down below if you all are interested in checking that out. And I'll link my college videos playlist for you all down below. When a new journey begins, as far as my education, I would definitely keep you all posted in that. Just as I did with my college vlogs. I will try my best to always keep you all posted as far as what goes on in my life, you know. I filmed my college experience before I definitely plan to film whatever is coming next and so with whatever journey that's going to be as far as furthering my education I will definitely have vlogs of that my nose is just so iffy <laughs> I try my best to contour it but the fact that I have like a natural little black line that shows right there I probably should start using my orange corrector just on that area and then I can kind of define that shape more but what I'm about to try okay so back to the chit chat I'm starting to explain things I'm supposed to just kind of be chatting with you all oh my god I covered everything what I ran out of topics I thought that there was too many topics but I do have two little alternate ones down at the bottom what I could discuss I did purchase tickets to go and see young Jeezy he was supposed to come to Memphis or really Cordova the concert ended up being canceled I purchased my tickets what am I doing next I'm just sitting here yapping at this point Let's do eyeliner. So yeah, I purchased my tickets when there were about 19 hours left to get tickets. I went ahead and put it to my Insta story and all of those things. Long story short, when I put it on my Instagram and then I tweeted about it. And since my Twitter and Facebook are connected, it also went to my Facebook. And so someone was coming to saying, oh, is the concert still going to happen? And at that point, I was like, wait, what? So, oh man, I just bumped it. I knew I shouldn't have talked doing eyeliner. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> So the concert did end up getting canceled and I spent, I purchased three tickets. I've been trying to get my money back and I'm having problems with that because he is coming in March. I wasn't going to go to the March showing because I just felt like it would be a larger crowd than what this January one would be, which is why I was going to go to that one instead. So I put in on Eventbrite for a refund, but because the show has been updated to come, I guess for him to come again in January, I mean in March. It's like I guess they're trying to delay it and they just updated my ticket saying, you know, you can use this ticket in March. I want my money back. Even if I'm going to go in March, I'm not going to just like, you know, like give me my money back and we'll get things figured out in March because that's money that I can have instead of just waiting all the way to March. Plus, I just may not go to that one. Like I can just have my money back in my bank account while I decide if I'm going to go in March. Plus, anything could happen. Like, if it's my money, I shouldn't sit around and wait until March. And I filed for that where you have to explain and things like that. And I'm like, the, the event was canceled. I would like a refund. That's currently my update with that. I'm actually going to look into it again just as soon as I finish filming this video. Because I almost forgot about it for a second. I, and I, I just honestly forgot, too, that I'm only doing mascara. And I'm not doing lashes for my wing to be this big. Because I want to tell you all about the mascara that a lot of you all have been asking me about on my Instagram when I post pictures. A lot of you were like, what lashes? And I was like, ooh, that made my mascara look good. I wanted to show you all my little combo that I've been doing. A lot of you all request for me to start wearing lashes more, which I do sometimes when I feel that it's necessary for me. No shade against anyone else. I'm only speaking of myself, which is what I can only speak of. But for me, I just feel like day to day, 
um, I don't really do that much when it comes to my makeup I feel like and so every occasion for me is not really a need to put on lashes plus I just feel like the more I probably begin wearing them like I have a good amount of lash I don't want it to ever get to the point where I have to now become reliant upon lashes just because I've worn them so much that removing them has caused my lashes to kind of get a little thin and all those things. What am I doing? Let me shut up. Hold on. Let me do this outcome. I am so mad at myself for making this wing that big because I know I have no intention on putting on lashes. We found some kiss lashes in Dollar Tree. I know y'all going to be getting sick of me to always talking about Dollar Tree, but I truly just love Dollar Tree. Um, plus, kiss is kiss. It doesn't really matter if I found it in Dollar Tree, I feel like. But these are two that I did recently find in there. If I end up having to put on a pair, I'll probably wear these tulip ones just because I done messed up and did like way over the top wing just for me to do mascara. If not, I'll save that for another makeup tutorial just depending on how this one goes. I'm really hoping that you all end up liking it because I would like to do more of these for you all. Hey, you all. So this is definitely turning into a struggle tutorial. The camera cut off on me yet again. Didn't even play the footage back to see where I left off. This is the Black Up Mascara, Black Up Paris Revolution. I have the name on the screen in case I mispronounced that. This is the mascara that I've been wearing. I did receive this mascara free from Black Up through Octali. And I really like this mascara. If you've heard me say before in past videos how I tend to skip bottom mascara just because I end up either messing it up or the mascara itself ends up ruining my bottom lashes to the point where I get like that little black smudgy look up under there and I absolutely hate that and it's like regardless of how you try to clean it up you can still see it but with this mascara I do not have that problem and not only that I'm able to really just see my lashes and skip false lashes some of you all were asking me what lashes I was wearing and so the fact that you all asked that and I wasn't even wearing lashes I was like oh that's some good mascara <laughs> this is what the wand looks like it's like a curved wand and that just really helps because it kind of takes the shape of the how your eyes are already naturally made to get that on there very well. Uh, I forgot to do eyeshadow under here. See what I mean? I can't remember if I said it or if I was only thinking it in the beginning. How in a chit chat, either the makeup is going to be good or the conversation better be good if you forget things in the makeup. Not speaking of anyone else, only speaking for myself or not speaking about anyone else. So yeah, I hope my conversation was good because I did forget a few steps, but that's cool. Really, I'm just doing this makeup for the video and to take pictures in this hair, which is good enough to finesse on Instagram for me. <laughs> on top of that, if you just want that extra oomph because I'm really trying to skip lashes because I don't really want to glue them on right now. Plus, I know I'm just about to take some pictures and wash this off, so why waste my lashes if I can use them for my Valentine's Day? This is the Beauty Beats Waterproof Lyrical Length Intensifying Waterproof Mascara. And when I layer both of these, it really makes my lashes look great i feel like sometimes the camera doesn't really pick up the lashes that well why is it so out of focus with like lights and things like that and then just trying to film if we were in person you could see my lashes more so than what is picking up on camera i feel so pressured and rushed right now because my sister really needs her laptop for something important let me put that out there that it is important why she needs it so that you all don't feel that she's trying to be mean and just take her laptop from me hmm. great randomly ratchet and use my edge toothbrush comb and just comb through them. This is becoming a tutorial and is not supposed to be one. But I covered everything on my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me list. Um, the only last thing that I had on my list. Any relevant videos. Also I did do my nails. If y'all want to check out the tutorial. Um, if this is your first video that you're watching. I do my own nails. Sometimes a lot of my videos get lost among the other ones. Depending on what I'm uploading the most. But I'll leave that video down below. If y'all want to see how I did them myself. I just did like a fun little video where I use tips on one hand and then I use sculpting forms on the other hand just to show that you can get the same results but it's just preference on which technique you like best. This is what my eyes look like without lashes. I'm going to leave it this way. Okay, so since I had to wait so long for this camera to charge back up, I thought I wanted to film while my sister had her laptop but I was like no because I've gotten so used to filming with a monitor, I was like I'm going to need a monitor. I also decided with the help of my little sister and my cousin that I should go ahead and put these lashes on just for the purpose of this video even if I kind of don't want to wear them I forgot the scissors hold on so I already applied a lash on this eye this is my natural lashes with just those two combinations of the mascara and with the lash 
and I'll put all the information about it down below. I wonder how much these cost like outside of Dollar Tree because I like the way they look like they're not too much but it's just enough you know. And it comes with like this cute little thing of glue. Look at that. I wish I could have seen more of these. Like I was going to get all of the pairs that I had seen but I guess somebody beat me to it and there was only two left. Not of the same one though. Like the other one is different but I just grabbed it because it was a dollar. It's worth a try. You know, since I did kind of cover everything on my list, I don't really want to ramble too much. But I can definitely spend some time just thanking you all for all of the love and support you all have shown me. Again, and I'm saying again because I said that in my uh, 100k giveaway already. But for those of you that didn't see that, I definitely just want to say thank you for all of the love and support. And if you are here watching this video, it means that you kept me around <laughs> in 2018 and you didn't get rid of all of Destiny. So, thank you all so much for that. I'm zooming in showing you all how I put on lashes as if I'm some kind of makeup artist or something. I'm so new to this. <laughs> oh my god. I promise I put that other one on with no problem. Probably because I was in the restroom just playing. So the fact that I ended up putting my lip liner on and I assumed, like I know I clicked that record button. <sighs> Whatever. The lip color that I'm about to use is NYX Lingerie in After Hours. In like a uh, past chit chat you ready with me I had talked to you all about this lip color and I was just saying how sometimes I do try to try different colors within what I would want to try not really just pushing it just for the video even if I don't really like it you know on me I'm saying you know so I did get this one and I was telling you all how I kind of just really didn't like the color but uh, some of you all had mentioned that if I maybe try doing it with a lighter color on the inside of my lip then maybe I would like it better that's just what we're going to do right now Awkward, right? <gasps> Destiny, what are you doing? Oh my god. Jumping all out of order. But what's order when you're doing your own makeup? Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Video, I hope you all enjoy my little chit chat. Get ready with me. I will have a video linked down below for you all to check out how I did my hair. It was uploaded before this one, so that will be in my description box if you're interested. And let me know what you all think of this makeup. Do I have a string sticking out right there? Come on now, girl. What you doing? Let me know what you all think of this makeup look with me trying like the different color. And if you all still enjoy the chit chat, even though I feel that it's sometimes hard for me just to even get my makeup correct, let alone trying to actually chat with you all while I'm filming that. Let me know what you all think about me just trying a few different things still within my own comfort level and zone. I don't want to talk too much because it was already a chit chat. So any other chit chat get ready with me videos that I have done here on my channel I will leave those down in my description box as well and if you've seen random videos pop up in the cards I always try to include relevant videos so I'm pretty sure that those may be chit chat get ready with me videos from my channel. Yeah, check those out if you enjoy videos like this. Let me know in the comments down below as well. Questions or comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Bye!